welcome everyone so today we are going to understand how to find hcf of any fractions okay so for example we'll start with the easier ones so let's say if you had fractions like 3 upon 10 and let's say we had something over here which was 69 upon 100 something like that okay now please understand when it comes to hcf of fractions many people make the mistake of finding the hcf of the numerator and the hcf of the denominator that is not possible so when you when you do that that is absolutely wrong actually so what you should do when you have to do hcf of fractions here you will find the hcf of the numerator and in the denominator you will find the lcm okay this is very very important for everyone to remember okay so once you know this it will become very very easy so now if you see for this one we know that 3 and 69 now 3 divides 69 completely so i can say the hcf between 3 and 69 is 69 and lcm so please understand when you are trying to find hcf of any number you will start with the lowest number okay and when you're trying to find the LCM, you will start with the highest number. And check whether the highest number is completely divisible by the rest of the numbers. Similarly, lowest number, in case of lowest number, you can say that whether the lowest number is dividing the rest of the numbers. If that is the case, then the lowest number becomes your HCF. And similarly for LCM, if the highest number is divisible by the rest of the numbers, like in this case, then I can say the highest number is the LCM. So, the answer for this one is 3 upon 100. Okay. This is very, very important. Now, please understand, if you want to understand how to find HCF of any given set of numbers, then I would, I have put up a link on top and in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. Similarly, if you want to find the LCM, again, that link will be available for both. Okay. Now, Let's say what happens when there are more than one fraction or more than two fractions. Okay, what will happen in that case? So let's say we had 2 upon 3, then we have 4 upon 6, then we have 10 upon 18. Okay, so if that is the case, then what you will do? So here, let's see, if you see over here 2, 4 and 10. So now we'll start with the lowest number which is 2. So 2 is dividing 4 as well as it is dividing 10. So I can say my HCF of the numerator is 2. Similarly, for the LCM, we'll start with the highest number which is 18. And if you see, it is coming in 6 table as well as it is coming in 3 table. So I can say my answer is 2 upon 18 which can get further simplified and answer is 1 upon 9. Okay. So now students understand whenever you're trying to solve an MCQ, there are times when they have given you the simplest form. But if in case they have given you this particular form and they have given you a simplest form, then the simplest form has to be chosen, not the current form. Okay, that is 2 upon 18. Okay, so that is something which you all should remember in math. You should always write your answers in simplest form or simplest or in the mixed form. Okay. These are the only two options for you all to write when it comes to fractions. Okay. Now, let's try and see one more example. So, we have 4 upon 5. Then we have 3 upon 10. Then we have 7 upon 15. So, now understand, since in my numerator, all of them are prime numbers. Okay. So, in that case, I can say my HCF is just 1 because there is nothing common between two prime numbers or any set of prime numbers except for the number 1. Okay. Now from here we have what 5, 10 and 15. Okay. So here you can say that 15 is my prime. Uh, sorry, 15 is my LCM because 15 is coming in 5 table as well as it is coming in 10 table. Okay. So now I'm done with the easier ones. Okay. So now let's start with a more set of difficult ones. So let's say we had 2 upon 3, then we had 22 upon 9, then we had 42 upon 12, okay? 
Now over here if you see that the lowest number 2 is completely dividing 22 as well as 42. So I can say my HCF for the numerator is what 2. But in my denominator now things are getting different okay because you see 12 doesn't come in uh, it comes in 3 stable but it doesn't come in 9 stable. So in this case what you will do is we go ahead and multiply 12 with 2. So what answer you get is 24. Again the same problem 24 doesn't come in 9 stable. So in that case what we'll do we'll again go ahead and multiply it with 3. So here your answer is coming out to be 36 and if you look closely number 9 as well as number 3 both of them completely divide 36. Okay, so I can say my answer is 2 upon 36, which comes out to be 1 upon 18. Okay, students, I'm sure you must be wondering, Acha, what happens when you had to find LCM of fractions? So, again, I have made a separate video on that topic as well. I have not purposely done it in this particular video because students tend to get confused. So, I request all of you all that you, after watching this video, you can go ahead and watch that video as well. I'll put this link at the end of the video. Also, don't forget that I'm put, going to put up a DIY question at the end of this video. And if you have not already liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay. So now, let's go uh, on to more trickier ones. So, if we had, let's say we had um, 6 upon... 2, then we had 48 upon 3, then we had 12 upon 5, then we had uh, 3 upon, let's say 12, then let's say we had um, 7 upon 4. Okay, so if that is the uh, scenario, then what happens in this case is again, let's try to find out the LCF, HCF of the numerator. Now, if you look closely, you will see that the number 3 is dividing all the numbers except for the number 7. So, when you have something like this, okay, and you know that the number 7 is obviously a prime number, okay. So, in this case, we can directly go ahead and say the HCF of the numerator or the given set of numbers is nothing but just number 1. Now, out of all of these given numbers, we know that 12 is the highest one. So, we'll start. Okay. So, now, see, understand. Problem over here is we have 5. So, again, 5 is a prime number. Okay. And we know that 2 and 3 already are getting divided or uh, divides 12 completely as well as 4. So, in this case, you don't have to worry at all. You can just directly go ahead and multiply with 5. So, answer is coming out to be 60 and if you see 60 is divisible by 2, it is divisible by 3, it is divisible by 5, by 12 and by 4. So, the answer for this particular set of fractions will be 1 upon 60. Okay. So, now time for your DIY. I want you all to tell me what will be uh, the um, LC, oh, sorry, HCF of fractions. When it is uh, 1 upon, no, we, uh, let's not do 1. We'll, we'll do 4 upon 3, then 8 upon 9, and then we have 64 upon 81. Please let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.